This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the Aaron's Focus, a new cell I've been working on. This is the cell I'm going to be putting in the car. The design I've been working on for this entire winter and now that the gas prices are going over $3 a gallon and I believe they'll be reaching $4 a gallon by end of summer if not before. This is going to be the line in which I'm going to work from. The cell is stands about nine and a half inches tall and of course it's got five by five plates top and bottom. You can see on this cell two electrodes are placed in a different position that were on the other Aaron cell. I'll show you why that is there. Plus it's got two ports here. One is a fill port and one is the output port. This is a work in progress system so what you're looking at is as I'm putting it together You'll notice the ports are definitely different. And this cell will operate differently. This is the cell that I showed in the last video. Again, it's called the Focus. F-O-C-U-S. I am hoping to have this ready in the next week and it'll be on my site hydrogentap.com or of course you can reach me for questions at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com there's a lot of people building cells out there I like to think the cell that I'm building now that you've been watching for the whole winter actually for a year now we'll show you and give you a lot of confidence this cell will be an assist cell which means it will be added to the mixture of the gas that's coming in from the normal gasoline and I'm hoping to improve the mileage considerable with it there's a lot more that will be added to this cell which I will show you in the next few days as I'm putting it together. Now I'm going to show you a look at the inside. One thing I want you to understand when you're looking at this is that all the cells I've designed up to now and will be designing even further are for use in the lab as I've stated many many times although I'm getting a lot of people that are using them for other purposes. Using the cells that I've made, the Aaron cells for the lab, is very important. You need a special cell to do tests to create your own system. This cell, the one you're looking at here, is called the Focus, as I told you, and it is not for the lab. This cell is constructed or will be constructed strictly for the use in the car. But the Aaron cells that I have on the website hydrogentap.com allow you to change the plates, allow you to go into the system, the cell itself, make your corrections or make your changes so you can use it the way you want. This cell the focus does not allow you to do that. So please understand the distinction between the two. Focus is going to be the first cell I put out that will be advertised as a system for the car. 
It will not allow you to make changes, at least not very easily, and it's not designed for that. If you're thinking about buying something to experiment with, this is not the cell. You want to get one of the Aaron cells that I've shown you before on the site. If you're looking to put something in your car, this will be the cell to do that. This will be the bottom line. This is the one I'm going to be doing testing with, and you'll see the test as I go. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like here. What you're looking at is the cell in a clear case. The cell is not going to be in a case that's going in the car. The cell will be in the PVC tube. But what I've done is make a mock-up here so you can see how the inside looks. Again, you can see the ports, the two electrodes as they sit on the outside. And as we go towards the inside, you'll notice right away that the cell is supported by actually stainless steel strips on the inside all the way down to the cell base. There's no more wires for that. This is straight connect. And as you can see, the cell does not entirely reach the bottom of the case. It's being suspended by the top. There's a few magical qualities to this cell which give it a lot of boost. This one has six plates in it. And if you study this video closely you'll notice the differences in it. In fact probably one of the best features this has is the the way the cell itself is held in place. Again, this is just one part of the cell. In the next few days you'll see the rest of it put together and I'll show you how this works. As you can see, it picks up directly from the top. which is really nice because now we have a suspension built on it. There, another difference you'll notice is it only has one fastener that's going through the plates. Again, this that you're looking at is not the finished piece. You'll see that in the next few days as I show you more and more of the design. I will tell you this, that the base is glued directly to the PVC. So all in all, Again, this is called the focus. Before I forget, the plates are 3 inches by 6 inches. And they're spaced 1 8 inch apart using the plastic spacers that I have in all the Aaron cells. I think once you see the finished product, you're going to understand why all the work that I've put into this was worth it. Again, if you have any questions, you can write me at johnaarons at hydrogentap.com or you can go to the site hydrogentap.com. I'm always glad to hear from you, and I think you're going to see that all these tests that I've been conducting actually do make sense.